All right, today's project is the trailer. This is a customer of mine, customer of mine and he had three quarter inch plywood down here that was um, carriage bolt, carriage bolted to the uh, mesh. We're gonna replace that. The, all the wiring needs to be redone. Luke's over here working on getting a grinder set up. We just got the uh, tongue off of it, the ball hitch. And we took that off because a friend of his borrowed it, and um, I guess he turned too sharp and bent it a little bit. And just want to make sure that that wasn't bent at all. It looks like maybe this is bent here, down in here. So, and then the um, he broke his handle for his wheel, so we're going to get that replaced. So, Luke's going to go ahead and get this ground up, and then... Uh, We'll tinker on some more. We're taking off uh, this um, wheel, and uh, what we found was, Luke, move your arm real quick. Move all, just take everything off. This here, the tongue is bent. So we're gonna go get another chunk of this square tubing, and we're gonna replace it. It's bent like right here too. It's almost, you can almost, you can pretty much see it in the camera. So all this was a waste of time for us. So we're gonna go ahead and get that off and we're gonna get a parts list and we're gonna run out to the store and grab all the parts. Taking these two bolts off of the tongue here. There's one here that Luke's working on and there's one back here that we're gonna take care of. And um, the customer has welded a uh, handle on here. That way it's easier to put it on the uh, hitch and all that. And then these have to come off and um, yeah, I don't know. We might make our own. I'm not sure. I might just get a, another loop of chain, cut this one off, and just use, you know, this on there. So, but uh, we'll deal with that when we come to it. And then, uh, like I said, the wiring is just all jacked up on this trailer. So, we'll get that straightened out too. And we're getting another piece of plywood for on top here. And uh, we'll straighten up some of the fenders, have a little bit of dents and dings in them. We'll straighten those up too. N nice little tidbit that we were talking about when we were down here. These top rails here, these are the headboard and footboard from a metal bed frame that uh, he welded up on the um, top rail here. They work out pretty good and they're very sturdy. Very, very sturdy. They do a good job, so. All right, Luke's finishing with these bolts. Let's get those off and we'll get this tongue pulled out. All right, this is how bent this thing is. I don't know if you can see here. That's the tongue. And right here towards the end, it gets, it's up there pretty, pretty bad. So, let's flip that thing over, Luke. Yeah, just flip it over. See if you can see the bend the other way. Yeah, there you can see more of the bend in it. You can see daylight all the way from here over to there. So we're going to measure this thing up and see if we can't find one out at the store. So, uh, yeah. And uh, while, we do, while we have that off, we can get all the wiring figured out and everything and get that all straightened out. 
and I just check over some things and make sure everything is good, nice and tight. So you see all the wires are off and everything on there. Luke's gonna go ahead and take care of that, aren't you? Yeah? Yeah, he's going to. All right, so I pulled the uh, wire harness out and I just laid it out here, how kind of how it goes on the trailer. It's, the wires are just falling all apart, so I bought some new ones. We're just gonna go ahead and run a whole new harness and uh, get that done. And uh, let's see, what else? LED lights. And I believe I got LED side marker lights, but let's just get that installed and I'll show you how it looks after it's all installed. I have not gotten the tongue for it yet. We'll go get that and uh, we'll get that put on. And uh, we'll have a nice straight trailer going down the road. I was up high enough when I had my hand on back there. You keep your arm straight and you can just push pressure down on there. So you're doing good. All right, so we got a new tongue for the trailer. Uh, we're gonna get that on. We're gonna get the wiring uh, finished up today. Um, I do need to run back out and grab some paint. I forgot paint for that. I have etching primer already, so we're gonna etch, get some etching primer on it. And then I didn't know if anybody had ever seen these before. I saw these on another YouTube channel and they're all over Facebook right now. But these little um, butt connectors, they have that little ring of solder in there. It's a low, low, uh, low melt point solder. So you just use the heat gun and it, it'll solder connections together. That's what we're going to use to go ahead and get our connections together on the trailer. And, uh, yeah, Luke's over there drilling out the holes and I do need bolts for that too. So that, and we have to get the chain off of here and the handles off and get it mounted up over there. Put the tongue back on and we're pretty much done. So I'll just keep you updated as we go. So we got the wiring laid out and we got it all together and uh, these things work pretty good. It's a little bit of a learning curve to make sure you get the solder melted and all that. But um, we set these up. These are tail, just marker lights. These are marker slash turn and the ones up front are markers only. So all we need to do now is attach our ground. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of... I guess I'm going to drill a little hole in here and just zip tie everything into that little box. And then uh, just use a self-tapping screw to put the, uh, the ground on. Alright, and then um, we still need to get some paint for the tongue. I forgot paint for the tongue. So, let's get to it. Alright, so I've missed a bunch of steps here. This is the new tongue for the trailer. We went ahead and got it painted. We uh, first etched it with primer, and then I uh, painted it. Trailer's out here, all the lights are hooked up. I missed a big part of this video, because the one day I worked alone, I didn't work with uh, Luke on it, and it just kind of threw me off. Uh, just threw me off my routine. It was a project that him and I were doing, but he couldn't be here one day, so. Um, and I'm just finishing this up. He's actually out right now, too. I'm gonna get the, another coat of clear on this, and then when he gets home, we gotta cut a piece of plywood from the bottom there, and then we have to get it painted with um, that truck bed liner stuff, or I, I'm not sure, I have two cans of um, undercoating that I might try to use and see how they uh, stick to it. So, but we're almost there, we're almost there. Check this out, there's a little stick bug here. I've, I've seen a couple of these around the house here recently. I don't know if anybody's ever seen one of those before. I can't, I don't know what the common term is for them. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen if I can find it. Uh, but yeah, layman's term, stick bug. 
Pretty cool. All right, well, the trailer's in. The drill died. We are currently, we got the plywood on there. We're currently drilling out for the um, carriage bolts. And then once all this is all drilled out, we have to take this back off. The customer has a big piece of rubber that he wants us to lay up underneath here. Got to get the holes in that. And then we're going to use flex seal all over this. Just to give it a uh, treatment against the weather. And then, then what? Then we're going to um, let it dry. <laughs> we're going to let it dry. And then just assemble everything back in. All right. Um, we'll come back to you when it's dry, I guess. Like, I doubt we'll film us doing it and all that stuff. So, all right. Be right back. All right, so we decided to use flex seal for this, and we are treating the plywood, trying to make it weatherproof, and then we're going to add another layer of rubber that the customer has supplied. And um, all I can say about this flex seal is keep the nozzle clean, and once you start spraying, keep going, because it seems like it gumps up very fast. So, let me get the other can already. Wow. All right, so we're going to finish this up and we'll be right back. All right, so Luke just got this mask from the Halloween store. He's gonna run in the house and try to scare mom. Go for it. As soon as you bust in, I'll try to get the video. You gotta go quick. Rip the door open. Don't worry about closing it. Just boom. It's okay. Just go run. All right, Luke is not here again today, so I just need to get this trailer finished up and get it back to the uh, owner. So the plywood's on. I'm putting the bolts on now, the carriage bolts. Yeah, it's a little bit of a task to line these carriage bolts up. The customer wanted a piece of rubber membrane underneath the plywood to help it from uh, rotting out too quick. And... Uh, Man, with the holes pre-drilled already into the frame of the trailer, it's hard to line up the holes to the, dry, uh, the uh, plywood after the rubber membrane was down. So I'm going to go ahead and get that lined up. Right turn signal. That's left. Go right now. OK. 
Okay, so that's a fast blink because of my blinker on the truck. All right. And then, um, get your brakes again. Perfect. All right, we have all brakes. We're good to go. All right, so we're pretty happy about that. The spare tire, I don't know. I guess we threw the uh, bolts away for that. So uh, on my way back down to drop this thing off, I'm going to pick up some new uh, bolts to bolt that up. That goes on the front over here. Um, this is, I had a good time with my boy doing this. I think he had a good time. He learned a lot. And uh, we got a couple more projects coming up like this. And uh, we'll upload them in the future. If you like them, like, share, and subscribe. If you don't like them, wait for me to put out an RC video. So, like I said, I just we have some stuff building up here. We just need to get done, right, Luke? Yep. All right, everybody. You have anything else to add to it about your experience with the trailer? Not really. It's just a trailer. I mean, you learned how to grind. You've never ground anything before. I don't think you ever drilled through metal or any of that stuff anymore. So we learned a lot. So that's the whole deal. Is trying to pass the torch on to my my little flame over here. <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> be good to people. People, be good to you. Ben out. And Luke out. Later.